Hi guys and welcome to another video tutorial here on the Kiki and Manny Photography blog. My name is Manny and today I want to show you guys a quick technique how to work with smart objects in Bridge, Raw Converter and Photoshop. For those of you who are advanced Photoshoppers, you might know already about smart objects. So if you know about that, you can switch off. If you not know about smart objects and if you're new to Photoshop, this is a super tutorial for you. So I'm currently in Bridge now and I want to open this image that I've selected here in my content area. So I'm going to double click on this and it will be opened in RAW. Now just bear in mind, if you're shooting on JPEG, this will not be opened in a RAW converter. It will directly go through to uh, Photoshop. So you have to shoot on RAW to get to this stage. Okay, so now I'm currently in the RAW converter and in the RAW converter on the right hand side, you obviously can do your adjustments. And I'm quickly going to do a rough adjustment on this. Just change my temperature a little bit and fill lights a little bit up. This is a no means a tutorial for retouching on skin or anything. This is just for the Kiki tutorial quickly to show you guys how to work with smart objects. Okay, turn up my blacks a little bit. Clarity a little bit. I want to resharpen this a little bit. Make my radius down and go down again. And I want to change my fill light all the way up so it's really, really bright. The reason why I'm doing this is I'm going to show you in a moment now why I'm doing this. Fill light, okay. So this doesn't look nice at all, but I want to use it like that for the tutorial now. So now you've done all your adjustments and you're ready to hit open object to open it in Photoshop. But now if you didn't tick off a box saying open as a smart object, it's not going to be opened as a smart object. So what you will have to do is go down here to the sentence and click on here, it's your workflow ad adjustments and it will open a new window saying workflow options and in here you are able to change a few things. So go to your color space if you don't have it, sRGB, I've got my depth set to 8 bytes, size, resolution and sharpen none. And now this is important, down here you have to tick this box saying open in Photoshop as a smart object. So if this box isn't ticked on your computer, tick this box, this might help you now. Tick this box and after you're done hit OK. So now you adjusted everything in RAW Converter so that it always opens your images in a smart object. Alright, so I'm going to hit open object now and we're going through to Photoshop. Just going to wait a little bit to Photoshop loads. There it is. And now in Photoshop we have our image and directly in our layer palette you will see that our layer has a small icon down here. Might be new to you, this means that it is a smart object now. Even if I hover over it with the mouse it says smart object as thumbnail. So mostly you will see it like this. Just kind of make a normal layer quickly for you. This is how a normal layer looks and this is with a smart object. Now what this means actually is that you are able to go back and forth in your raw converter if you change it to a smart object. Let me show it to you quickly. If I'm now photoshopping on this image, doing an adjustment quickly and darkening it really or quite a lot, just doing a rough adjustment on this layer. Now I will do some turns and saturation. Go back again in my adjustment layers. Hue and saturation, turn my saturation down a little bit like that. Okay, go back again and in my layers palette. Now I noticed after photoshopping quite a while, then I noticed uh, I maybe wanted to change something in the raw converter that it looks directly different on here. So now you are able to actually do that. You are able to double click on the small icon and it will directly take you back to the raw converter and you're able to edit on that again. Say if you don't have a, a, a smart object, you had to go all the way back and start over again. So with smart objects, you are able to do that. Just double tap the small icon down here. It will go back directly into the raw converter. So say in the raw converter, you didn't want to turn up the fill lights so much, then you'll just take it down all the way the fill lights and you say, OK again. Now directly, uh, they're preparing the smart object, Photoshop, and the adjustments will be totally different. Now have a look, that directly changed all of my adjustments that I just did. So now if I think I have to change something again, I can always go back and forth in my raw converter. Now that helps me quite a lot in my workflow. So that's one trick I wanted to show you in how to work with a raw converter and smart objects. But now, while I'm in smart objects, I'm just going to delete these other layers quickly. In smart objects, say you have your layer on smart object, you want to use a filter. So I'll go up to my top here and select filter and in filter I'm going to select say blur, Gaussian blur. 
and then gaussian blur i wanted to blur my whole image or say just my background so i'm going to blur it quite a lot or say i want to blur the skin for now i would never do this on a skin retouch so this is just for the tutorial all right so say i'm going to blur the skin with the gaussian blur and i'm going to hit ok what happens now directly it's not going to create a new layer or going to tell me adjustment layer with filters it makes a layer down here saying smart filters and gaussian blur now i'm pretty much i'm able to actually make this smaller and bigger in your layer palette but i'm also able to blend stuff out and blend it in again plus i'm also able to adjust the whole gaussian blur tool again if i double tap on here it actually takes you directly to the gaussian blur tool in this one you're able to just change the opacity and blending option now what is also nice about it, you can use as many filters as you want to. So if I go to high pass and I use high pass, say OK, want to use high pass as that. And I'm going on with my adjustments, do another adjustment layers on here maybe, and some hue and saturation. And I'm done with that. But later at my photoshopping stage, I think, yeah, maybe the high pass filter wasn't that nice. So I don't want it at all. So then you're just able to go down here and deselect it and it will blend it out again. Now you don't you don't like the gaussian blur at all, you can also blend that out again. So this helps me quite a lot to work back and forth with a smart object and helps me to photoshop quicker. Now what also happens sometimes if you say you opened an image just normally and you have a JPEG just normally and you don't have a smart object. So what you're going to do then? What you're able to do is go back here to filters and say convert to for smart filters and it's going to prepare it for a smart object and now your normal image is also a smart object so how nice is that now you're able to do exactly the same that we did just a minute ago so i hope this tutorial helped you guys a little bit and thanks for watching my name is manny hope to see you next week on another great video tutorial on kiki blog and my blog thanks for watching bye bye